praise. Yes. Amen. Give, Amen. Give him the praise. Yes. 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 Give him the praise. Yes. Yes. Give him the praise. Give him the praise this morning. Thank you for the praise. Amen. 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 For lifting up the songs yes. that yes. believers Hallelujah. can understand. Yes. See, yes. see, when problems come and when pain comes, listen to the words. They didn't say panic is what I do. They didn't say pout is what I do. No, they said praise is what I do. So we don't faint. We don't fall out. We just simply have fellowship with God and we praise That's him. Right. Amen. Praise. praise is what we do. Praise. No, not even our circumstance. Yeah. It doesn't even stand a chance. Yeah. Right. See, see, it's not about uh, 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 if your pocket or pocketbook is full of money. Because right. folks right. have that and still don't praise him. That's it's right. about when you broke and can't put two nickels together. Right. When your money's funny and your change is strange, can you still find a praise? I wish I had some when your back is up against the wall, it's not when everything is going right. Because when you're having problems and people and pain, can you still praise him? Can you praise him? No, even your circumstance, wherever your lot of life may be, you still can praise him. Because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Of the praise. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. When we didn't have anything, yes. we still praised him. Yes. When problems were still messing with we still praised him. Yes. When things weren't going right. Let me go this side. When two plus two equal ten, Elder Stewart, and we've had two months like you and I have had, we still come to praise him. We're not gonna let no problem stop us. We're not gonna let no Paul stop us. We're not gonna let no people stop us. We still Praise him. That's how you have a testimony. You have to go through a test. That's how you grow up. That's how you mature. You know God is, and we said it in our prayer. Job said, I saw you, I, I heard about you, but now I see you. So when you see him, yeah, yeah, he's worthy to be praised. That's right. Amen. Hey, I forgot where I was. I'm sorry. Uh, Amen. Thank you, Judah Praise. Thank you, uh, Dr. Casey Coleman. Uh, thank you, Tim Jenkins, Ralph Wilson, and all of the membership and the leadership here today. Uh, Facebook, if you're just joining, yes, we are in the sanctuary, and yes, we are praising God uh, for who he is. Amen. Let me start there, man. For who he is. For who he is. With his presence, with his power with his protection, with his provision, and all his promises uh -huh. for who he is. Yes. All of those are yea yes. and amen. amen. I wish I had some Come on. Yes. Yes. Come yes. on. Yes. Yes. God has never failed us. Never. Not one time. No. He's kept every syllable, every uh, verb, every yes. dotted eye and cross T. If he promised it in his word, yes. somebody I need some help is able, you know he's able to perform it. Yes. Yes. Just us being here tells us that he's faithful. That's right. Yes, him is. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Good morning, church. Good morning, Good morning Facebook. Uh, uh, now that we've had prayer, uh, we've had praise. Sean brought us a preachable moment. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. And thank you for your testimony. And then we had praise again. And now we are into yes. the praise. I am going to the preach word. We ask if you would stand to uh, hear the word of God yeah. uh, and that we would take our time today uh, and that he be lifted up, that he may draw someone That's right. through his word Hallelujah. unto himself. We're coming uh, in the second uh, Chronicles, the 25th chapter, verses 1 through 10. We shall be reading from the King James Version. Second Chronicles, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. One more time, because someone's still turning the page. Second Chronicles, chapter 25, verses 1 through 10. I shall be reading from the King James Version. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Joadah of Jerusalem. 
And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Mm -hmm. Now it came to pass when the kingdom was established to him that he slew his servants that had killed the king, his father. But he slew not the children, but did as it was written in the law in the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The fathers shall not die for the children. Children, or neither shall the children die for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together and made them captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers throughout all of Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them from 20 years old and above, and found them 300,000 choice men, able to go forth to war, that could handle spear and shield. He also hired 100,000 mighty men of valor out of Israel for 100 talents of silver. Somebody say, but. But. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee. For the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. God's got one more but. but. If thou wilt go <laughs> do it, be strong for the battle. Yeah. God shall make thee fall before the enemy, for God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amaziah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, the Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amaziah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim to go home again, wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. You may be, I know, this is, this is deep. You may be seated in the presence of the most high God. Father, we come in. No other name thereby which we shall be saved, Jesus. Power and presence of your spirit. We know you are in this place. Thank you for all that has transpired thus far. For those hearts and those heads and those hands with the hope of, of their giftedness. We know that they have lifted you up and you're in our midst. We thank you for these that are here. Thank you for those who may have had a desire to come but just couldn't make it. Thank you for our Facebook congregation. Thank you for our YouTube congregation. God, we're grateful for who you are in our lives. And now we ask that you simply hide us behind your cross. Keep us under the dripping of your blood. And write across our hearts and our minds the words that are found in the gospel according to John, the 12th chapter, 21st verse, sir, we would see Jesus. Mm -hmm. Simply, he declared, if I be lifted up, mm -hmm. I'll draw all men unto myself. Yeah. Have your way, Jesus. Yes. Rescue a sinner. Reclaim a backslider. And give relationship to someone looking for you, Father. Or if it's a church home, <laughs> let this be the place where they will find you. And together, we will walk through the journey of life with you. For it's in that name we pray, and for his sake, together we say, Amen. 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 Uh, also, be in prayer for Elder Marshall. I just had the radar uh, remind me. Uh, he is in the wilderness, no, literally, in Wyoming. Oh, wow. And he posted a picture on Facebook. I saw a wolf. <laughs> so, so Elder Brown and I were just kidding each other. Can you imagine a wolf coming at him? And he looked at him and Get away, get away. <laughs> this is an inside joke. You got to go on the marsh. Because <laughs> yeah, we know he not, he's not going to run nowhere. They met somebody. Amen. Amen. So pray a wolf don't come his way. Amen. We miss him. I told him we anxiously await uh, his return. Come on, somebody. Amen. I guess one might scare him. Amen. But let's get started. So, so, so listen, we are uh, in this moment and here for this hour. Uh, God has given us another uh, ultimate uh, uh, through all that he's given us called since September uh, of last year. <coughs> Amen. Last year. Amen. Uh, here we have the ultimate extra. The ultimate extra. Amen. This is the, the ultimate 
Extra. So, so Elder Stewart, uh, this morning as we continue uh, in our major theme, discipleship, uh, uh, Mount Carter, having left uh, uh, nine text messages from God over the last several weeks, I said nine text messages from God, concluding our mini-series uh, where we were talking about the ultimate effort. Uh, Dr. Jenkins, now God uh, uh, um, has given us uh, this moment to, to present to you on his behalf the ultimate F extra, the ultimate extra. So, Ganada, uh, when we think and when we contemplate, uh, uh, Shelly, and when we pause, watch this, and we sit down, Cheryl, and, and think uh, on the subject of extra, uh, it doesn't take us long. Uh, my dear friend Quan, it, it won't take us long, Henrietta. Uh, it won't take us long, Bobby. This mic's going in and out. It won't take us long. Can you give me a handheld? Uh, either one of them, I'll just uh, turn it on. Not that one. Not that one. Take one in the back. back. Yeah, one in the back. Yeah. Amen. Right. Uh, Where's it, White? Can I have it? Somebody say the devil is alive. The devil is alive. We're trying to stop the mic. <laughs> That's all right. We got plenty of mics, and if a mic don't work, I got a playground for us. We got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say that. That's all right. <laughs> got a Facebook now. Amen. But it's true. I don't mind truth. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 when we think about extra the church, uh, uh, let, let me get back to the to, to the assignment at hand. Uh, it doesn't take us long. Uh, 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 it doesn't take a long time, Teresa, to realize there are two truths. Come on. Extra can be a good thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let, let me prove it. Come on. Watch this, Mom Ethel. Uh, 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 there isn't too many of us, and I don't believe there's none of us, watch this, uh, uh, Joy Dina, who would turn down, watch this, extra money. Yeah. Right. Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'm going somewhere, Mom Carter. There isn't too, I said there isn't too many of us. Somebody just said you got qualified. Where'd it come from? No, it's just extra money. That's all you need to know. It's extra. They say it's good. It's good money. It's clean money. It's honest money. Y'all take y'all y'all on board now. They listen to them. They listen. When I said extra money, they ain't pass. We awake now. We we would want good, clean. Uh, 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 extra money. Yes. I don't believe there's none of us who would, who would have it and just give it back to where it came. In fact, there are some things right now running through our minds, uh, uh, Earl and, and, and Karen Renee Berry, watch this, and on our radar, uh, uh, we could do, uh, we think about some things and, and we could do, right now, you think about some things you could do yes. with the extra, with the extra money. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, 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 watch this. Uh, and on our radar, I, I know, I know uh, Puffy and them got that song, More Money, More Problems. But I would want the more money to see how much problems I really would have. And if I have enough money, if I have more money and more money and more money, then maybe I can pay some, pay some of those more problems off. But I still have some extra, I'm going somewhere, Mom. Some extra money. Uh, 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 I'm, on, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something. I got to look straight ahead, Ralph. Uh, that's why the lottery uh, come on now. and gambling come on. is so powerful and addicting because people will take their hard-earned money come on, that they man. work for, come on. place their bet, or play their numbers, y'all got quiet, in an effort to have extra money. Yeah. And the realization with silent conversation sounds like this. Let me say it again, Elder Tanks. The realization with silent conversation sounds like this. If I had extra money, Pastor, well. I would pay off this. Mm -hmm. I would pay off that. <laughs> and Pastor, you know, if I had some extra money, I, I, I would tithe. Nah. Uh, <laughs> tell the truth. I, I make sure the church get an offering. <laughs> Why is it? Dr. Carlton, what's left over? Mm. Y'all missed it. Mm. What's left over? No, you should start with God first. That's right. See, see, anything else is a tip or a bribe, mm. a token. Mm. Uh, uh, and I would give an offer to the church if I had some extra money. Then the antithesis uh, and the opposite of the inverse of the other side is is extra can be bad to have. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shelly, I'm going to cover the whole house. Extra could be bad to have. There isn't too many of us, and I believe none of us, who would welcome and who would want to have an extra burden Come on. or an extra trial or an extra problem or an extra pain or an extra struggle or an extra strain or an extra stretch. No, not one of us in our right natural minds, church, unless we're sadistic, that means you like pain. There's some folks who like pain. Who operate in pain. That's right, right. And want you to know about their pain. Yeah. Right. But for us this morning, extra pain and extra problems and extra pauses, no, we don't want none of that. We have enough of those. And so I am convinced that 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 extra can be two purposes. It could be good or it could be bad. And isn't it just like God? Come on. Ah, go ahead. With his inerrant word, with his unfallible uh, 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 conversation. Uh, uh, and his unadulterated counsel would bring us to this text. See, God sends text. He's been texting long before we had iPhones and Androids. Well, well. All this is a text message, Amen. a love text message. There you go. That God sends us a, a, a text message to talk about the ultimate extra. I'm ready to roll now. The ultimate extra. You'll see this in a minute. So, so watch this. This is some good stuff. Uh, here are our definitions for extra, Junior. Add it to an existing or amount. Uh, to a great extent than usual, uh, more than is necessary, all right? Here are our synonyms. Also, to, besides, uh, further, supplement, adjunct, bonus, accompaniment, to boot, furthermore, add-on, on top of that. I like that one. On top of that. Over and above that. Here are our quotes. God doesn't give us what we can handle. God helps us handle what we are given. Mm, come on. Right. Come on. When someone thinks that God never provided for anything or everything one need, uh, they only need to touch their pulse. That is B I G. Proof that God gives them more than anything. That's right. Quote God doesn't give us more than we can handle. I am told, but I wonder if God doesn't overestimate me just a little. Or perhaps, and this is likely, I underestimate God. Yeah. Unquote Julia Cameron. And here we are. My, my, my. And our takeaways from our text. But I love history so much that I have to build a foundation. So leading up to our text, uh, I just don't believe in dropping in a text message and start preaching. We, we want to set a foundation so we know from whence we're coming from to where we are. And then we can go forward uh, with our walk in Christ. So towards the end, uh, 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 of the church of uh, 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 Second Chronicles in the 23rd chapter uh, right around the end of the pews I'm talking about the end of 23 uh, uh, we learn that Joash is anointed king over all of Judah just yes. if you flip back yes. just flip back a couple pages you'll see it yes. he's anointed and, and, and here at Antalia is a woman uh, who led men from the Lord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I stopped writing at that moment mm -hmm. listen she broke down the house of the Lord and dedicated things of the house of the Lord to another God named Baal. Uh, uh, and she was quickly, if you're reading, she was quickly put to death. Man, if there's some woman leading you from God. Come on. Now, now I don't want you to physically <laughs> remove them. But the relationship should end. It's working. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was put to death immediately. Uh, uh, watch this. Outside of the house of the Lord, and the idols were destroyed. So moving towards our text, Mount Carter, the beginning of the 24th chapter, uh, uh, in, that ch in the same church of Second Chronicles, in the, this pew that we're in now, King Joash was seven years old uh, when he began to reign. Forty years in Jerusalem. Just read 24 if you can just glance at it later. Uh, his mother's name is given in the account. And the B-I-B-L-E says, Joash uh, did what was right in the sight of the Lord all the days of Jehoiada, the priest. This is huge. And Joash uh, has a mindset to raise money uh, through the king, for the kingdom uh, to rebuild the house of the Lord. What's this, Dr. Carlton, uh, Elder Stewart? But when Jehoiada, the priest, waxed old and was full of days and he died at the age of 136 years old, they buried him 
in the city of David among the kings because he had done good in Israel both toward God and toward men. Quan, this is going to get hot and heavy. Uh, hold on, buckle up, baby. Watch this. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord. Uh, after his death, the princes of Judah came to the king with reverence and they bowed down and prostrated themselves and worshipped the king, Joash, uh, and the king heard him. In other words, the king loved it. He lapped it up and gave them consent. In other words, the king listened to them. Watch this call because it's going to shift in a quick minute. Uh, and they left the house of the Lord. Just read 24. To me, what happens in the text, uh, uh, after reading it and studying it a little bit, Elder, Elder Stewart, watch this, is that when the priest died, Jehoiada, Joash did everything that was right in the sight of the Lord. But as soon as he died and was no longer attached to the priest, there were some folks who came along who didn't mean the Lord any good, yeah. and he left the Lord yeah. and walked with them. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, the house, and they let the house of the Lord, the God, their father. Watch this. And here's how, how people leave God. They set up other images. Come on. Uh, a Phoenician goddess and idols, and wrath came upon Judah and Jerusalem uh, for their trespass. Something hit me in this moment, uh, uh, Cheryl, is that when, that when we, when our peace and our praise is jacked up, mm -hmm. is because there's something God is not pleased with. Come on now. Come and, on, And Reverend. we're in the wrong house. Wow. Set it up doing right. Doing some things we shouldn't do. Come on, set Your it up. praise and your peace is going to be disturbed. Yeah. Maybe that's just me and this podium. Come on, set it up. Uh, and, and yet he sent, God sends prophets to them to bring them again unto the Lord, and they testified. Listen, the people got upset with the prophets. Like right now, somebody will turn me off on Facebook. Come on. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Uh, 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 because I'm not talking the way they want me to talk or what they want to hear. Uh, 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 they testified against them, but they wouldn't even give them an ear. In other words, they didn't care nothing about that. They didn't care nothing about what God had to say. And, and so two doors from our text, and I'm hastening, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest. Uh, his daddy was the priest. Uh, he's the son who the Spirit of the Lord came upon, which stood above the people and said unto them. Uh, and if I turn back just a moment and read uh, verses 20 uh, D for you, and you can see what he read. And the Spirit of the Lord, I'm in 24, uh, verse 20. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Zechariah, the son of Jehoiada, uh, of the priest which stood there by the people, said unto them, Thus saith God, Why transgress ye uh, uh, the commandments of the Lord that you cannot profit? In other words, when you transgress, you can't go forward. They ain't got nothing with money. Mm. Right. Prosper is going forward, forward. in right. life right. Right. Uh, because you have forsaken the Lord and he have forsaken you. Mm -hmm. So mm. they forsaken God and God forsaken them. Mm -hmm. yeah. God is not going to be attached to no foolishness. Come on now. And so it's next to our text. Come on here, sweetheart. It's next to our text. Uh, right next door, uh, we see the death of Joash the king. Uh, uh, here's what I want to echo and, and beat this drum real loud, Mount Carter. Uh, uh, because there are those who start out on fire for the Lord, mm -hmm. but they don't endure until the end oh, for the Lord. It's one thing to get started. I know it's important to get started, but it's how you finish. Yeah. Do you have that same fire and that same zeal and that Come same on. burning yeah. desire when you first got saved and now you've been on a journey with God for a little while, you've seen some things, you know God is able, you have Come a testimony, yeah. God has delivered, God has yeah. kept you, yeah. and God has birthed and yeah. kept you, and now all of a sudden something comes along and you change course. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Getting started is one thing, but can you endure yeah. until the end? Oh. Okay. All right, so now, now we're ready. Here's, our, here's our, our takeaways from our text, Henrietta. Watch this. Watch this. In, in 25.1, uh, uh, Amaziah, just to give you a little bit more background, is the son of Joash. He's the son. And, and, and somebody say, father like son. Good enough. Let, let, watch this. Amaziah, <laughs> verse, verse, one and, and where I got verse 1 and 2, watch this. Amaziah, was, he was 25 years old when he began to reign. Uh, he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Jehoiada of Jerusalem. The author gives of Chronicles gives uh, him the same account that he gave his father. Both their mothers are mentioned. Uh, and he did that which was, was right in the Lord. But here is the, the issue this morning. But not with a perfect heart. 
Mm -hmm. uh, his name means strength of Jah. It means he uh, physically on foot or mentally encouraged. Uh, uh, we know him, Rihanna, he's 25 years old when he began to reign uh, 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 over Jerusalem. Uh, he, 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 like his father, we see his mother's name is in the account. It's going backwards. By now, we should have taken notice when it comes to those who reign and rule. I, I'm going to pause here for a minute because I'm going to talk about relevant 2023. Come on. When those who reign or rule and God has put in position, Come on. we need to know some things about God. That's right. Uh, God has a timeline. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on. God has a time frame. Mm. God has a time when they will begin. And somebody needs to hear this. Yeah. God has a time when they will be ending. Yeah. 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 Okay. It is God who sets them up, and it is God who will take them down. That's right. You don't need to fret and get upset and worry Come on. about what you're seeing on television yeah. right now. Wow. God is still in, in control. control. That's right. Yeah. Bible says that 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 Amaziah, like his daddy, did what was right uh, in the sight of the Lord. Uh, and this is a declaration that we need to lay our hearts on and in for right now, June 11, 2023. There are three sets of eyes people may have. Uh, they have their own eyes, and they do what they think or believe is right. Number two, they have eyes to do what is right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart. Come on. Ah. That's two. Wow. And three, they started outright in the sight of the Lord, but their heart is not able to endure until the end with the Lord or for the Lord. Wow. Mm. Wow. wow. There's another one. <laughs> I felt like DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> Somebody says, who's DJ Khaled? <laughs> or they have eyes to do what is right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. So in other words, they started out, and i got to keep repeating it to you because it's important as we move along in the text. They started out right in the sight of the Lord, but their heart is not able to endure until the end with the Lord and for the Lord. See, when the heart is perfect, that means the heart is convinced, is convicted, is converted, it has been changed, and it's all about your heart going towards maturity. That's it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. It is so important for us this morning and that for our, our, our eyes uh, uh, to be up the ladder, understanding it is possible. Let me ring this bell real loud and beat this drum for several moments. Uh, it's, it's possible, watch this church, to show up on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. It's possible to attend church on a regular basis. Yeah. It's possible to occupy a place in the service of the Lord. It's possible to pay, pay tithes and pay offerings. It's possible to talk the talk, but not walk the walk. It's Come possible on. to have Jesus on the outside, but don't know Come him on. on the inside. There is no such thing, Ganada, as a half-hearted Christian. Come on. The requirement and the standard that God desires is that we have whole heart, or he'll have none of us at all. Isaiah 29, 13 declares that, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near to me with their mouth, and their lips do honor me, but their heart is far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Uh, it is possible to do, Spike Lee, the right thing uh, with the wrong heart. Yeah. Let me say it again. That's too philosophical. Right. It is possible to do the right thing with the wrong heart. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It is possible to do the right thing, but not have a perfect heart. Yeah. Mm. This is the ultimate extra, uh, not with a perfect heart. So I got to move. Here's obedience, then planning without God. Mm. That messed me up. Mm. I don't make sense, does it? <laughs> Something ain't right. If you're obedient, then how can you plan. not plan without God? Right. Come on. Right. Talk to him. Come on, here we go. Come on, preach. So watch this. Verses 3 through 6. I got to I gotta go. Watch this. I won't keep you long. It came to pass when the kingdom was established uh, uh, to him that he slew his servants that had killed the king his father. But he slew not the children, but did as it was written in the law in the book of Moses, where the Lord commanded, saying, The father shall not die for the children, neither, the children, neither shall the children die for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. And moreover, Amaziah gathered Judah together, and it talks about his armies uh, and how he listed the army. Uh, but he does something in verse 6 
that takes us to the second half of the takeaway. Uh, he hired also 100,000 mighty men of valor out of Israel for 100 talents of silver. See, when we read, uh, 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 now it comes to pass, uh, we know uh, from previous experience with God uh, and Arnett Jr., we remember uh, uh, these words that God has already ordained the moment. Come on. When you read, now it's come to pass, God has already ordained it. <laughs> to God, it's history. Uh, when it came to pass me, it's going to happen. So I want somebody to know and be encouraged that what you're looking at right now, even though this country of ours looks cuckoo for cuckoo puffs, God has already ordained everything that's taken place, and he is in control. Yes, yes, he is. That's right. God has already fixed the time for it to take place, and that with God, uh, this is going to happen. Let me say what I, I love to say all the time, Elder Stewart. To God, this is history. It's already happened. He already knew. Yeah, yeah. Amaziah, when the kingdom was established to him, was confirmed to him. Uh, he did uh, what the word of God required in the Mosaic law uh, for Deuteronomy 24, 16. You will see that the law of Moses that God had given said, listen, uh, you have a right to kill the father, but don't kill the children. Mm -hmm. So he's obedient. I'm setting up the takeaway. He's obedient in that moment. Uh, there's nothing that needs to be said relevant uh, to our time that we are living in uh, now, uh, and I need you to hear this, I need you to hear this, please hear this, Facebook. When and if we are to become one nation under God, mm. we must with a true, with a sincere, a genuine heart, love him and understand that God is a God of law and order. There you yeah. go, come on. Yeah. He is a God of standards and requirements. Yes. He is a God of love and wrath. And he is a God of mercy and grace. And here's where I can not wait to get to, Taria, and do my thing. Uh, this PSA is, is free. There is no one who is above the law and that all should be treated equally under the law. Come on. Yeah. Regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of the high or low position, regardless of the amount of money they have or may not have, regardless of they're wearing a badge or do not wear a badge, yeah. it's one thing to stand for law and order, but have a heart that breaks and bends the law. Y'all missed it. Come on. Uh, and to have no taste for the law and order Come on. when one must and one should be and will be held accountable. Church, we, you can't have it both ways. Come on, brother. Either we are law and order, or, or we're lawless without order. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You, can't, you can't say you law and order and then break the law on, and bend the law, and then when the law is, wants to be accountable for what is done wrong, you want to blame somebody else. Come on. We're living it right now. Sorry for the indictment. You just can't have it both ways. And then get upset and get mad and look for the wrong in others with no truth and, and no truth in allegations and spread lies when confronted with the law and order because of our own lawlessness and our own disorder. So it doesn't matter, microphone, whether you're red, blue, green, polka dot, left, right, Middle, extreme, Republican, Democrat, Independent, People Party. It doesn't matter what party you're from. If you're wrong, you're wrong, Come on. and the law will hold you accountable. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. So the record declares that King Amaziah gathered Judah together. He began to put his army uh, church uh, uh, together, uh, even from the tribe of Benjamin. He numbered them. Uh, and he, he was found, so, so listen to this, he had 300,000 choice men to go to war with who could handle a spear and a shield. And then the Bible declares, <laughs> Carlton, here's where it gets slippery. I, I feel like uh, Lionel Richie in the comment was, when is wet? <laughs> then, 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 it's about to get wet, because uh, it's dry right now. Then, then he hired an additional 100,000 mighty, powerful men, warriors, strong and mighty, men of valor, army of force, with, watch this, Carla, with substance and with strength. 
He added 100,000 more. And what caught me in the text and in my studying it is, I wanted to know how much the 100 uh, uh, shekels cost him. And when you do the calculation, each shekel is worth 3,000 she uh, shekels. All right? So he spent 300,000 for the 100,000. He bought 300,000, about 100,000 more men at 3,000 per man. Am I right? Is that good math? Okay, I, I, I left class when they started talking math. <laughs> But Casey, he, he paid 300. Now you and I know that's a lot of cheese. That is. Yeah. Maybe they miss it. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of bread. Yeah. But then he adds 100,000 more mm. to what he had already chosen. See, up to this point, he is obedient. The planning with our God is now taking place. When we add some folks. Come on. Come on. Set it up. Come on. When God has already given you enough, oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. You got some folks that you bought in. Yeah. Listen, you paid for them. Yeah. It, let me go this way. Y'all thinking money? No, it costs you something. That's right. Come on, God. It may have cost you your heart. That they stepped on and broke. It may have cost you your precious time. It may have cost you your peace. It may have cost you. It costs you something. Come on now. It appeared to us that King Amaziah was only planning to be prepared, uh, not if war broke out, uh, but he's preparing for when war broke out. Nothing wrong with that. It would appear that there is nothing wrong with this type of planning, uh, and we should applaud the king uh, 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 because he was not going to be taken surprise. He was not going to be caught off guard. He was not going to be sleep at the wheel. And I'll admit and I will submit into the atmosphere, there's nothing wrong with being prepared for what might take place. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got some proactive folks in the house. There's nothing wrong with taking inventory of your resources. There's nothing wrong with having a plan should and if something comes along. But his was obedience than planning without God. Here's number three. I got to go. Watch this. This is going to be good. For God had power to help and to cast down. Yeah, God had power to help and to cast down. Seven and eight. Watch this. Watch this. See, 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 it's after he made his plans, God shows up. See, this is God's butt. See, we thought we were doing something a couple weeks ago with our butt. God said, here's my butt. God's got some butts, too. And see, oftentimes, Earl, is when we go out on our own and do something and never ask him about it, his butt will show up. You caught that. Watch this. Sure, I'm having a party by myself. Me and Sean drew up here, guy. We got it. His butt shows up. In the, in the way that God sends his man, a prophet, and saying, O king, uh, let not the army of Israel go with you, for the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. Uh, and I had a moment, because uh, I'm inquisitive and I'm nosy about God's word, and, I, and, I, and I, it just didn't blow me away that I read that, but I want to know why. What's wrong with Ephraim? I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Here's God's second butt. See, this, to me, this messed me up with God. First of all, he addresses the planning without him. And then he gives uh, Amaziah a choice. He says, but if you go and do it, take these 100,000 with you, be strong for the battle. Watch, the man of God says, God shall make you fall before the enemy, for God has power to help and to cast down. Let me get to my notes and let's get out of here. Watch this, Junior. Watch this. The prophet is sent by God with a message from God. That, that, that's a qualification for somebody to hear. Any prophet, I don't care if it's male or female, that you're listening to or that you hear, if the word they're talking is not from here, Come on, it's man. not from no, God. No. Come on, brother. I'll make it plain. Come on, brother. That's as plain as it gets. God didn't right. send them. They right. sent themselves. Come on. God didn't call them. They called themselves. God didn't anoint them. They anointed themselves. Come on. Breathe. That's right. Any prophet sent by God will have a message from God according to his word. That's it. Saying what God sent him to say with divine anointing under divine uh, assignment. He says, O king, let not your army of Israel go with you. Don't let them go. The Lord is not with Israel. Uh, 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 to wit with all the children of Ephraim. Watch this. The second but, if thou will go. So, so here's something we need to know about God. Uh, I couldn't wait to get here. That, that, that when we plan without him, mm. he doesn't tear your plans up. No. Mm. Mm. 
He'll just let you know if you don't see it. He'll let you know what's going to happen without him. And then you and I have a choice to choose to go without him. And to go. How many of us had plans that God ain't had nothing to do with that we made and we went without him and it worked out? No. So, so here in the text, he's given us a choice. And so well, I'm so glad that God uh, in the Old Testament allowed the spirit. Here we go, midweek meditation. Uh, 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 that God would allow his spirit to come upon folks, but now God in, in the New Testament, his spirit is in us. So there is a time, family, that when you plan uh, and you plot uh, without God, uh, uh, God's going to have his spirit speak to you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Before it takes place. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. Yes. You have a millisecond to change your mind. Yes. Or you're going to fall. I didn't say it, the text said it. He had a choice. Okay? So it's clear that, 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 that make no mistake, beloved, uh, and we should never get it twisted. We should never have it tangled us, and we should never have it tie us in a knot. God, in this text message uh, to our hearts at this moment, Henrietta, is declaring there are some people King Amaziah has chosen and has paid for to go with uh, in the time of a fight, in the time of a battle, in the time of a war. But those that he has chosen, here's why Ephraim has a problem and why God tells Amaziah. They are not in covenant relationship with God. See, oftentimes we go off on all by ourselves and attach ourselves to some folks who don't know God, are not in covenant with God, have nothing to do with God, and we expect God to bless us. Tell me you ain't kissed some frogs in your life. You thought we're princes. Man, you cook so you kiss some froggets. You thought we're princesses. Some folks who weren't in covenant with God. And God will give you the option to either go with them or to choose him. And so that's why we have, and this is so good. Oh my God. We have a choice. Let, let me give you a moment. I feel like Fire Marshal Fields is uh, shoulder. <laughs> let me tell you something. I had, I had, I had been, can I just testify to my, from my heart? Let me be honest, y'all know my story. I have been with a lot of women. And I'm not bragging about giving license, but they weren't the women God wanted me to be with. Come on. And after my heart got tore up and broke up and, 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 and the pieces, Junior, I sat on my porch where I live and I cried crocodile tears and looked up to heaven and said, God, if you send me somebody that I can love and somebody that can love me, I promise you, I'm tired of the games, no more foolishness, I've hung up my holster, I don't want to shoot no more bullets, I'm tired of running the streets, tired of the nightlife, tired of the club, tired of the drug, tired of the drinking, I'm tired of chasing the women, and not of it now for nothing, I just need somebody who's in covenant relationship with you and here oh, it is. You missed it. Mm -hmm. Here her is, Hallelujah. Casey. Two weeks later, when I saw her, wow! Come on, I knew it. <laughs> My boys were like, "Man, you just got here. I don't care. God just told me there is the covenant woman." Then knowing from Eve, y'all missed it. Because sometimes we hook up with folks who are not in covenant relationship with God and expect God to bless the mess. Come on. And our relationship is not perfect. I don't want you to get it wrong. It's not Camelot. I told you before, we fight a lot and we fuss a lot. It's not Camelot. But we love a lot. More than we fuss a lot and we fight a lot. So you need to be with somebody who's in a covenant relationship with God. The relevance for right here and the importance of this very moment and the significance before us now, watch this caller, is there are some people, people have chosen, and some people, uh, they have paid for. I get back to this. Mm -hmm. It costs them something. Mm -hmm. It may not be money. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Uh, uh, but you, you've hooked up with them and attached yourself to them, and now you want to take them in a fight wow. and in a battle and a war, and God doesn't approve of them, and you're trying to win all those three. And God is not with you. God is not pleased. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, who's, not, who's not in covenant with the Lord, he doesn't want to get hooked up with his people, and we should know better. Amen. That's why when folks come to me and tell me, Pastor, I'd like to get married, first thing I ask them, Quan and, and Netta, uh, uh, is, is do you know the Lord? That's right. No, you don't, I don't ask you if you attend church. No, do you have a personal relationship with the Lord? And if you don't, I'm not your God. Yeah. Because the blood is on my hand. Right. And then you'll see me a week later because y'all fussing and fighting and can't stand each other guts. We know that as believers that marriage is a Christian institution. Come on. It's for Christians. Come on. Why the divorce rate is high. I'm going to preach anyhow, Tim. I'm, I'm, I'm on assignment. Right. We recognize who the Lord is not with. Yes, they, 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 these are them that uh, they chose. This is them that they paid. So, so the prophet tells him, I got to go. Watch this. The prophet tells him that if he wants to go, uh, see, God doesn't force himself on anybody. He gives up a choice. You're a free moral agent. You can test the market if you want to. And you can go to the highest bidder. I know a lot of folks who tested the market and their careers ended real quickly. Okay. I'm a free agent. Right. I want to the water to see. I want to no, no. God gives you that choice. You have that right. But if you go, he tells him and he warns him what will happen. But here is where I got messed up and, and God took my chair on the door and spun me around. Uh, uh, and, and I hope you see this. The prophet tells him uh, if he wants to go into battle with his 400,000 now, he's welcome to do so. Yeah. But he will go without God's blessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The prophet also tells him that God will see to it. Mm -hmm. See, the issue is that sometimes we don't fear God yeah. or we don't believe him what he's saying. That's right. uh, the prophet tells him God will see to it that you will fail and be defeated. Why? Amaziah was relying on human means instead of relying upon God. Uh, he had turned to men and rather than turning to God. Uh, he had left God out of all his plans. Uh, he didn't even look to God or lean on God. Uh, and an army of 3,000, let's do it right. Uh, with God's blessing is more powerful than an army of 4,000 without God's blessing. He had left God out of all he had done. How often, uh, uh, how often is it, church, uh, how often is it we leave God out of our plans and rely on what we can do or others can do for us only to have us fail? Yeah. All too often, we do not trust God and bring him into the picture. Uh, all too often, uh, human means at their best, uh, uh, watch this, they're insufficient. Mm -hmm. Maybe this might be Amen. working. Amen. Uh, when we feel we are lacking, it is human, uh, it isn't human ability we need, but it's divine ability we need. Yes. It's when we don't look to God with all our plans, it's when we don't lean upon God with all our plans, all our plans. Uh, and it's when we lack uh, in human ability, we should and we must learn to trust in his divine yes. ability. Yes. Amen. One of my favorite right verses, yes. Proverbs 16, 33. Mm. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Let me talk in plain language. Men and women make plans, but God has the final say so. That's, That's right. right. That's what that verse means. You make all plans you want. That's right. But God has a final say so. All right. All right. For God has power. Here's why he has to say so. The final. Watch this, Cheryl. God has power to help. God has power to assist. God has the power to aid. God has the power to support. God has the power to lead us, to guide us. God has the power that will benefit us. And God, on the inverse of that, has the power to cast down should we not have faith and believe and trust in him with our plans. Amen. All right. Amen. All right, I got to go, Henrietta. Amen. I got to go. Here's where the shot will start. See, the Lord is able to give you much more than this. Mm. Mm. Amaziah, here, this, this, look at verse 9 and 10. Come on, follow along. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Amaziah said to the man of God, I can hear all of that. You ever have some questions for God or some words for God after you heard him say it in his word? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Amaziah said to the man of God, but what shall we do? Listen, we do. Yeah. Don't miss that. <laughs> we do. Before is he made the plans all by himself. Now what shall we do? Now you want to bring God in. You, you, come on now. Yeah, what shall we do, God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We include him in the beginning, but now we, we realize it's wrong. What shall we do? Watch this. This is messed up, but it's good. What shall we do for the hundred talents which I give into the army of Israel? Oh, what about my hundred my hundred thousand I just paid? <laughs> You know what it taught me, Nether? Is that all that I spent and all the time I wasted, I just said it, oh. and all the time I spent and, and all the effort I gave with all the enthusiasm uh, and all the stick to itness that didn't, and God didn't want me to be involved in none of that, we just wasted it. That's right. That's right. And what I do know about God is He won't go back and get your wastedness and repair it. No. Now, let me qualify that. Not when you chose on your own. That's right. That's right. You chose. That's your problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of y'all got quiet. Facebook, I don't know if the mic is working. Watch this. The man that God answered, the Lord is able to give you much more than this. Verse 10 is, is that's hot mess. But let's, we, we there now. Watch this. It's a hot mess. Because this is where the rebel, the hinge going to swing the door wide open. God, Father, watch this. God has had two butts, uh, and now he says, but what shall we do? Uh, before the man of God replies, there are a few things that caught and captured my attention, my stare, and my gaze. Uh, you caught it early. He said, what shall we do? It's just like us, Tari, as you brought it in, uh, for us to bring God into our mess and then plan or, or ask him in the beginning when we were planning before we went out and did it on our own. The mic just broke. Uh, 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 he, he didn't ask God his thoughts or his direction nor would he desire to hear. Now he want to hear what God has to say and what they're going to do together. Watch this. And the only thing he's interested in is his money. Mm -hmm. To get a return of his shekels he had just gave away uh, after he was told the army of Israel shouldn't be with you. Yep. And it's only like your own choosing. Having been informed, God will bring defeat because God has power to help and cast down. Watch this. Somebody needs to hear this. Now uh, it's better for us before we spend our shekels Yes. On choosing yes. people to fight with us before we spend our money and all our effort and all enthusiasm and give all our heart and mind in choosing people who aren't in covenant with the Lord God uh, uh, and only wind up we're going to be shackled. See, it ain't about shackles, it's about shackle and chains. Oh. That we can't operate for God because we got some folks with us who are attached to us who are not in covenant relationship. With the living God. I can't see my heart now. I can't see. See, you want to know why it's messed up? It's some folks you chose. Yeah. And some folks God told you not to go with them, but you're going with them anyhow. But Pastor, you don't know how he make you feel. Yeah, I know how he make you feel. Yes. Pastor, you don't know her her says. <laughs> <laughs> but God says they're not in covenant relationship with me. That's they right. can't go with you. Sometimes it's better uh -huh. to go by yourself yeah. Yeah. with God yeah. than with folks who aren't in covenant relationship yeah. right. with him. to be falling in a ditch with you if you want to go in a ditch. No, That's you're right. just going by yourself. That's right. Okay. That's right. It's true in our house. That's right. I can act the fool all I want. This sister ain't going to go with me. Amen. And will tell me in a minute when I'm wrong. Amen. You asked for yeah. <laughs> And God sent her. Right. Don't you think, Carla, look here. Don't look at <laughs> Carla, she's bean mugging you right now. No, happy mugging you right now. Listen, I'm on your street. I'm sorry, boy. I walked in your kitchen and just started cooking. Didn't even rattle the pots and pans. Didn't even ask you, did I? But it's true. You ask for somebody, God gives them to you. You must believe God going to speak through them when you jacking up the horizontal. 
I can't. I got to go home with it. <laughs> Same with your church family. How am I going to make it good sweep the whole house? Listen, you don't want no pastor that's jacked up. That's right. Ain't trying to live the word, preaching some goo goo ga ga boo boo ba ba. You don't want none of that. You want the word of God that's going to nourish you. Listen, it's time pastors and preachers get off the milk. Folks don't need a nipple. They need the meat. Stop with all this Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That's all that's good. But guess what? There's a whole other 60, how many other books? 60, 65 other books. 61, I'm sorry. I gave four of them. 61, we can preach from. They ain't time to know them. <laughs> yeah, some people love milk. Yeah, no, you can't grow on milk. See, see, I'm having a moment, Elder Story. There was a time when we were little, uh, uh, and you had your own little table and your own little chairs way over there. And the big folks had this great big table and these great big chairs. And every now and then you get up on the little table and the little chair, and you wander just like baby girl. You just wander on over and see what they're eating. You couldn't even see the table, huh, Quan? But you get up on your hind leg, what y'all got? And all of a sudden, you want to sit. Especially if they broke you off a piece of chicken and stuck, and you, could, you were just gumming it. But boy, listen, you didn't want to sit back at the pee and carrot table no more. You want some ham. You want some meat. It's better before we spin our shackles and be shackled that we check with God. I, I, I got to close. And here's where I wanted to get to in the last 30, 40 minutes. The Lord is able. Yes. So I want to say, the Lord is able. This is what drew me to the text. The Lord is able. See, Mom Carter, we can fill in the blank uh, with the Lord is able. Whatever it is, the Lord is able. Whatever you're up against, the Lord is able. Whatever you stand in need of, the Lord is able. And watch what he does. He says the Lord is able to give you much more than this. Come on. See, sometimes folks get stuck on, on Negroes and Negro X thinking that's all I can, that's all I need, that's all I gotta have. I just gotta have him or her. Let me tell you something, boo, bam, bam. If they wrong, do you don't get along, it's time for you to leave. That's right, that's right. You ain't gonna change them. You ain't gonna make it work. Maybe it's time for you and the Lord to hook up and say, Lord, whither thou lead me? If I got to go by myself, so be it. But I'm not by myself. I know you are with me. Then to carry somebody that's going to hold you down, that's going to pull you down, they ain't going to go in the same direction you go in the boat. I'm trying to help somebody this morning. We got a week coming up on them. This ain't even in the sermon. We coming up on 40 years, girl. I, I ain't trying to row the boat with somebody who don't want to row. Come on, man. That's right. That's we got too many strokes we don't have together. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> We've been in this too long. Too long. Yeah, and this life we built. Ain't nobody coming in here messing That's up nothing. Right. Come on, I wish I had a church. Right. They ain't coming in here now. Like, girl, you got the best of my years. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. What was our vow? When we get old. We're going to feed each other. That's right. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be, we're old, one of them's done. We're old now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a matter of feeding each other. Right. They ain't too far away. <laughs> Stuff starting to hurt, my car. Knees and joints all inflamed. Come on, the elders doing it. Thank you, brother, for yesterday. Knees all inflamed, can't walk like, I got to get on her shoulder just to walk. <laughs> we need each other. Because we know the Lord is able, Brown. See, he bought us from tuna fish and bologna. That's right. That's, right. That's all we had. That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> all day, every day. And two pot and a pan. And no window to throw nothing out of <laughs> Y'all ain't talking. That's right. Humble beginnings is all I'm trying. But we had a mighty God. Come on. We know what we committed to. It took our cup. See, we in covenant with the Lord. And we know he's able to give much more than those hundred shackles. I got to go. I got to go. So here, here is the hands that will swing the door wide open. 
in verse 10, Godfather, Amaziah does something that blew my, it didn't blow my mind, but something that needed to be done. See, there are some folk, you got to send them home. You got to send them home. You, I'll buy a new one. You got to send them home. You got to send, let me, it, it'll be all right. You got to send them home. Get them out of your house. Get them out of your heart. Get them out of your head. Let, let it go of their hands. You got to get them out. You got to evict them. And if you don't want to evict them, then you walk away from them. It's the same thing. And if they won't go, tell them you don't live here no more. <laughs> Pack up their stuff, get a U-Haul, and drive the truck and drop them off. Talking right. You're talking right. I know I am. Yeah. See, I didn't get to this, this moment unless I sent somebody home. That's right. Not physically, but in my heart, they had to leave. See, it's the heart that's jacked up. When you get with somebody you ain't supposed to be with, it's your heart that costs you something. It's a heart matter. And God is telling somebody and, and speaking to somebody right now, either here on Facebook or YouTube, you got to send them home. That means you got to do without them. And so what the text doesn't say, but it does say, is that you've chosen God to stay with you. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You've chosen God. But here's the close. Watch this, Ralph, and I'm done. Go ahead, Pastor. Let me tell you what the text says and help somebody understand something. Watch this. Just like the Israelites got mad, yeah, they're going to be mad. Yeah. That's okay. yeah. 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 Come on, God. They're going to get mad. Yeah. They're going to get mad. Yes. They're going to get mad. They're going to get mad. Yeah. Because they know Come on! If you attach to you attach to the Lord, that's why Israel got mad. Because they know going into the war with Amaziah attached, attached to the Lord, victory was there. And they can't partake of none of the booty and none of the reward and none of the spoil. Folks wanna hang on you. You like Karen Renee Barry, because they know they losing a good thing. Change your number if you have to. They're going to be texting you. Come on, say the booty. No, block it. No, block it. This I heard when I. Don't go there. Listen, they're going to try to text you in the midnight hour. But you got to be strong in the Lord. And spend time with the Lord. And know that they are not for you. You're going to have to send them home. They're going to be mad. But if you follow the text, you'll have the victory. Yes. Yes. God will promise you the victory. Yes. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he will. Yeah. The issue is you attach your, to some folks who are not in covenant relationship with the Lord. That's the aha moment. That's right. They're not supposed to go fight with you. They're not, not going to be in the battle with you. They're not going to win the I said win the war with you. God will do that. And if you take him and trust him, here's what the Lord starts singing to me. You don't need nobody else. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. If they come in a relationship with God, yeah, your friends better be in a relationship with God. Usually they are. That's right. Yeah. I ain't hanging with no best friend who was a devil. Been there and done that. That's right. I came out of that and from them. Yeah. Yeah, but if they best friends and they in covenant relationship with the Lord, that's the caveat. Make sure they in covenant relationship with God. Come on now. Yeah. You don't need nobody holding you up. And Karen said something I'll elaborate just real quick. Unequally yoked is, is that they would put two animals together with other equal size and weight who could plow, here we go Henrietta, together and a harvest and the seed could be planted. You don't need an oxen or a, 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 a yoke or oxen or any goat or whoever hooked up to you if they ain't going to help plow. That's right. That's right. That's right. See, you, you yoke and you're, you're tied to somebody 
who wants to plow backwards That's right. and you trying to go forward. And sure, what happens is both the animals are stagnant and stuttered and can't go forward and go straight. The seed is never planted and there's no harvest because they not they haven't been equally yoked to pull their weight. So you don't even know why you're gonna pull their weight and your weight and holding you up and you wonder why progress is not coming and you're standing still and you haven't moved in the last 10 years and he hasn't said, I'd like to marry you. I'm going to send my father-in-law over your house to give you that ultimate question. Like he asked me, what are your intentions with my daughter? I'm like, what? I was stuck on a slow and better answer. Junior, what are your intentions? Huh? Nobody ever asked me that. Come on, it's just me and you, baby. Did Roger ask you? I already know that. I already know the Sisters, make sure your daddy asks him. Come on now. <laughs> Daddy, don't let nobody marry your princess who's in God and they don't know God. Come on. That's right. That's right. They don't need nobody who's not going to help them go forward with the Lord. Some women think if I just have a baby or another baby, then you saddle with five kids and no. And they all got different daddies. Because you thought one would do it, two would do it, three would. No, you just got five babies. And five baby daddies who only show up on the first of the month. Why don't you just go to Walmart the first of the week? I know I'm telling the truth. They don't, they're not even around no more. But if you want to know and have someone that know that the Lord is able... Hook yourself up to someone, here's my clothes, who's in covenant with the Lord, yeah. with the Lord God the Father, right? So, so the relationship that we hook up with is with Jesus. Come on. Right. I'm going to fix it now, Taria. Come on. See, 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 when we're outside of the covenant relationship that God required, which is with Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. the moment we said yes to him, he, God uh, accepted the sacrifice because the covenant relationship through the blood that Jesus offered is satisfactory. It paid the price, the penalty, and the presence of sin has all been taken care of. Now we're in a relationship with someone who's in covenant relationship with the Father. That's why our lives are better now Come than on. they were when we were outside right. of the relationship we didn't have without yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Come on, right? yeah. If that's not true, then you never came to him. Reason why I came to him because all that stuff is over there was jacked up and messed up, and I helped with it. Yeah. I was a part of the problem, yeah. but the solution is the Savior. Wow. Yeah. And if you're going to get right and have a right relationship with the Father and hear him say that the Lord is able to do much more than this. See, I wish I just had, Bob, and I'm done, a few folks who would stand right now and know that the Lord is able oh, to give yeah. you much more yeah. than this. Oh, yeah. Hasn't God been good to you? Yeah. Hasn't God taken yeah. care of you? Yeah. Hasn't God made a way out of no way? Hasn't yeah. God provided? Hasn't God seen you through? Yeah. Even through your darkest yeah. hour, God still yeah. was there. He was able to give us much more than what we had when we didn't have it. Come on, man. I'm not going to let you get away and just don't think God's not watching now. Come on. He's able to give us much more, and he already has. I like the Old Testament saints, Terea. My mom used to always say, if God don't do nothing else, baby boy, he's already done enough. And he keeps on blessing us. And he yeah. keeps on providing for us. And he yeah. keeps on giving us. Sometimes, Mom Carter, it blows my mind, even when I'm foolish and acting crazy and yeah. cuckoo, yeah. God still watches out for me. Yeah. And I don't want to waste his grace and his mercy. I got to get in line and understand that he's able yeah. to do much more yeah. than yeah. this. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Unhook yourself from somebody who's not in covenant relationship with God. And if you can't do it, just walk away yeah. and leave him. Yeah. Write him a dear Don. I mean a dear John. <laughs> I had one of those a dear Don. Oh, yeah. 
broke my heart and tore me up, but I'm glad they left. Come on. I never found, God would have never given me a hug. I'm so glad. See, some of you ought to be glad about God. That's right. Yeah. Good riddance. Yeah. Yeah. Out of these, sir, out of her, say, boom by Aggie. <laughs> Toodaloo. Toodles. Get your stuff and go. You ought to be glad. Because yeah. look at you now. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Come yes. in relationship yes. mm. with Jesus. Amen. From yesterday's meeting, it starts there. Yeah. It starts with the Lord. You got to be in a covenant relationship with Him vertically so you're horizontal. Amen. That's it. Amen. See, well, the reason why the horizontal is jacked up because there's a disconnect with the vertical. Yeah. And maybe you're in a covenant relationship with something or someone. That the Lord ain't told you, I ain't grammatically correct. Yes. The Lord hasn't told you to be with, yes. but you and I operate from our flesh. Yes. They come and come and they're smelling God good with cologne and perfume. Mm -hmm. Oh, you smell so good. <laughs> you look at them and they're beautiful. <laughs> Till they, talk, they start taking stuff off. And you see them, and, 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 and after a few years, they're going to put on a few pounds, and you don't, they ain't got nothing to do with it. That's right. Come on, somebody. Come on. When you come in a covenant relationship, I, I love Henrietta with more weight. That's more to love. Come on now. I'm still going to love her the day I saw her and the day we part. Come on. Come on, somebody. Come on now. You have not seen her mom Carter, she had no makeup on. Just pure beauty. I love that. Girl put on that rouge and that eyeliner and them spiders. They got spiders now. Can't open their eyes and see you. <laughs> Blinking and weak. And they don't know if it's three or you or one. They walk when you try to hug you, they hugging the air. Cut all that stuff out. God made you with natural beauty. Amen. Come on. Come on. Brothers, if you got to get somebody with all that stuff, is, you're going to have a problem. Especially when they start taking it off. I'm out of time, but not talk. The Lord is able to give thee more than this. Somebody may be outside of the Ark of Covenant, outside of the covenant. Thank you, Casey. And the covenant relationship starts with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're going to be in covenant relationship with the Father, watch this. You got to hook up and attach yourself to his son. Hallelujah. And when you're attached and hooked up with him vertically and you spend time with him intimately, it helps you with your horizontal when the storms and the vicissitudes of life come at you. You know you're engaged and married to be married to him. You're his and he's yours. And he's able to give you much more than the problems you have, much more than the pain you're experiencing, much more than the people you've experienced, much more than the pauses, even though you have to stand still and know that I am the Lord, much more. He's able to give you much more. If you never said yes to the Lord who is able, right where you are, Never mind what you've done and where you've been. His blood has already erased that and cleansed you. Just say yes to him. Ah, you clean me up inside. You never say yes to the Lord. You can meet me in the middle aisle if you're online and on Facebook and you never had a personal relationship. Say yes to the Lord God, Jesus, our Savior. You can do so, and we'll respond back to you. If you've been backslidden and out of love and in love with God, and out of love and in love, and you left not the church, but you left God, attach yourself to someone or something in every battle you fought, in every war you had, you've been losing ever since. Because it's without God. And you want to come back home and, and reunite with God and say, here I am. You sacrificed your life. He'll take you right where you are. Somebody may be looking for a church home, for a relationship with the living God, for a relationship with his people, and you're here right now. 
No more wandering in the wilderness. No more trying to visit all the churches and making a conscious decision. We promise you the word of God. We promise to uh, 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 meet you right where, embrace you where you are. We promise to encourage you where you are. And we promise to equip you not only with dialogue and talk, but with our hearts and we'll connect and join together and go down the pathway of life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We just want to worship and praise God. Yes. We want to love him and his people. Yes. How, Pastor? The same way he loves us, unconditionally. We don't have no requirements here other than that you said yes to the Lord. And we'll be with you. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. Present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To him who is able to give us more than this. To him now be majesty, dominion, power now and forevermore. It's in Jesus' name and all of us who know he's able. Yes. Together we say amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand, friends. Yes. Have a great weekend. Amen. Amen.